Hi guys, I picked this six in one educational solar kit up in one of the charity shops. Paid three pounds for it, which is about three times what I like to pay for them in charity shops. It caught my eye because I've done quite a few six in one solar kits, but this one looks just a little bit different. This is a good example of a six in one kit that I've done before. And you'll see there's similarities. Uh, they've both got that sort of windmill thing. Um, that one's got sort of a four wheeled car thing, whereas that one's got a three wheeled thing. That one's got some sort of a boat effect, and that one's a boat. Not quite sure what that one's supposed to be. It's just the boat upside down. That's got a sort of whirly gig thing, which is the same as that one. But then this one's got a an upright sort of robot effect. That one doesn't, but it's got a vibrating dog. That one, as the motor spins round, it's got an offset weight, so it vibrates around and rattles forward. Well, that one's got a sort of a helicopter effect. Which really doesn't look very much different to that one. Anyway, we're going to do it. Oh, there'll be a link in the video description to the playlist for this one. I've done as I say I've done several of them I did one set and then I had quite a few questions so I did another one I think anyway that's not the one this is the one we're gonna have a look at and what I have found in the past is it's best to get the motor and gearbox running first that will be the first thing it shows you how to do and if you know that the motor and gearbox is running, then you've got a fair chance of it working in all the different um, configurations. We have the instructions in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twenty. 20 different languages. I need a pair of cutters, which I happen to have. These ones are quite handy because they cut right down to the edge rather than in the middle. Solar panel. Oh, looks like we've got two different types of gearbox there. Oh, I expect they go together. We'll find out in a minute. Electric motor, a couple of sticky pads. And then we should have one, two, three, four. Four panels. Yep, two blue, two white. There for now. Oh, that's a nice little step down gearbox effect that will be. So it should have plenty of torque. So I need part D20 and D21. And they are conveniently labeled 2021. You can just twist them out, but that's quite often one of the failings later on that you've got little bits sticking out that actually jam when it's trying to turn. You might even want a knife just to trim up the sticky out bits.
Okay, that's our D20 and D21. Ah, right. There is actually two separate gearboxes. Gearbox A assembly, gearbox B assembly. So depending on which one you're going to be doing, depends on which gearbox you want to assemble. That one uses gearbox A. That one uses gearbox A. That one uses gearbox B. I would think that A gives you more torque. That one uses B. That one uses B. That one uses B. And that was it, wasn't it? So gearbox A for the first two, which I think it use, gives it more torque. So it can actually move things along. And then gearbox B, I'm guessing, is lower torque because it's just spinning a propeller. That's my interpretation. So we'll put gearbox A together first. So that's the gears for gearbox A. So it's got an extra reduction gear on it. Whereas gearbox B has only got the one reduction gear. So that shows that one in there. It's going to click in. Yep, that's clicking in place. And the motor. I'm going to go in the middle there. I'm going to do a close up of that because I think that's clever. Looking at the gearbox, trying to guess the reduction ratio. I could count the teeth, but let's just assume. That's 10 teeth, and that's 30 teeth. So you need to rotate that one three times before that one will rotate once. Then that's repeated again, that one to that one, and repeated again, that one to that one. So three to one, and then same again, same again. Three times three is nine, nine times three, 27. So 27 rotations of that one before this one rotates a full one rotation. But that gives you lots of torque. And that's why I'm saying they're using that one for the thing, things that are wheeled. Because it needs the torque to turn the wheels, whereas the other ones are just turning propellers. So that's just going to go straight on there. Oh, we've got to put the wires through the hole first. That would make sense. Because they got sleeving on the wires, they're a little bit fat. So if we pull them through one at a time. There we go, one. And then the other one. Right. So we got the wires through. And hopefully it will just clip together. There we are. And if I just grab a one and a half volt battery, yeah, okay. So it's relatively slowly turning. Lots of gear reduction. So that works. We could just try putting this on. there, 
take the cover off the Take that off there and then get a light that looks like the sun. Halogen bulb, which gives the right sort of light to run a solar panel. So just going to switch it on. Now you can see. Just darken that a bit. There you go. Oh, we get flicker. Oh, that's no good. Let's try that again. Yeah. Okay, you can see it works. So that's stage one. And I've spent long enough waffling about it that I'll make that a video all on its own. And then we'll put one of the robots together in video number two. Another little point, I regularly get comments on these solar things about they don't work. Well, they clearly tell you in the back here in, what was it, 20 different languages. There we are in the English for me. Sunlight, full energy. In the house, a 100 watt halogen bulb. <laughs> Try me, it will work. Cloudy day, it won't work. What they don't actually say there is it won't, oh, it does say it down there actually, it won't work on fluorescent lighting. It also won't work on modern LED lights, or most of them, because they just don't give the right sort of light. So you need either a halogen light bulb, or you need to go outside in the sun. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Leave us a comment so I know how I'm doing. And somewhere up here there'll be some links to related playlists. Thanks again.